Oh, my Taurus babies, and welcome to your bi-weekly general reading. I'm going to start right now. As always, if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you ting that bell so you're notified when I go live or I upload new videos. Okay, guys, let me fix this right real quick. Okay, here we go. Um, this first card is what you are leaving behind. The second card is what you are continuing. Third card is what is to come in your relationships. This fourth card is what is to come in your career. This fifth card is what is to come for your personal growth. This sixth card is what is entering into your life. And the seventh card is the overall advice for the next couple of weeks for you guys. And as usual, if you want a private reading with me, you can go to my website, which you can see in the bottom right hand corner there at astrologyoils.com. And you can book with me from there, or you can book with me on Facebook itself on my business page at um, Astrology Oils on Facebook. And don't forget about the group. If you wanted to become a member of the group, the link is in the description as well. Just go ahead and go in, click that link, and request to join. Right now it's free. Um, very shortly in the future, it most likely will not be. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use these two decks over here just to get a general outlook for the next couple of weeks for you guys. Okay, you have the Mother of Water coming in. Now, the Mother of Water helps you by bringing in all of the resources that you're going to need <clears throat> Excuse me. in order to manifest the things that you want, in order to have everything that you need um, in the next couple of weeks and you have the high priestess coming in and you know asking you or reminding you to listen to your intuition um, you're you're letting that veil get pretty thick there you're ignoring um, your intuition there there's your gut is telling you to do something or not do something and you're not listening um, the high priestess is reminding you that this week you really need to tune in uh, to your subconscious and listen to that intuition because it's really trying to tell you something. Okay, now what you are leaving behind. Um, you are leaving behind the lack of resources. Now the archer here is all about getting the things that you need and really focusing um, so she's not only is the archer gathering your resources but the archer is teaching you how to really be laser focused and targeted on what it is that you're going after and then you have the ace of swords coming in that is giving you um, all of the information that you're going to need um, with whatever you're starting out on here. I feel like you're really starting out on a new quest or a new journey of some kind this in the next couple of weeks. And you're going to have decisions to make. You, know, you have the two of wands. You know, it's all about decision making and, you know what it is that or what direction that you really want to take this 
um, new opportunity. And now what you are continuing Okay, you have the three of pentacles here. You are continuing to see progress at, at your job or at work. Um, but then you have the nine of wands coming in that says that you're getting really, maybe you're feeling a bit tired with what is going on at work and you're not real happy with your position at work. Um, but at home, things look really, really good for you. Um, so it's, you really need to work on getting your rest which the nine of wands is trying to tell you um, things may be going okay at work, but you're really tiring yourself out. And in order to make sure that things stay good at home, you're going to want to make sure that you get that rest that you need. Okay. Now the third card is what or who is entering into your life. Now the seer is coming in. And the seer is telling you to really focus um, on what it is that you want to manifest in your life. Uh, you've kind of gotten off track and you're, from the looks of things, you're worried more about other people and what they're doing instead of worrying about what you need to do and what um, direction you need to take your your life. And... The seer is trying to get you to get back into the groove and back into what you really are passionate about. And when you do that, you're going to have, you know, the, the two of pentacles that is saying that, you know, there is infinite possibility when, especially when it comes to your finances in the next couple of weeks. Um, so you have that possibility of, huge windfall coming your way uh with the two of pentacles here and but you need to be careful of somebody you know the devil's coming in here um into your life and this is a controlling person this is kind of like that control freak person that that doesn't let you go your own way and is trying to stop you from from getting your way and trying to stop you from really going after what you're passionate about. They're really selfish, maybe possibly narcissistic kind of personality that is coming in here uh, in the mix. So be really careful with who you're trusting and especially with who you're giving your power to because this, this devil person is not the type of person you want to give away your power to. Now, what is to come in for your relationships? Uh, <clears throat> You have decisions that need to be made when it comes to your relationships in the next couple of weeks. Um, I feel like this has more to do with the work environment than it does with the home environment because over here the home is doing, things are going just fine at home. So I think this really has to do with who you're going to trust at work and who you can't trust at work. And, um, Especially when you have the devil coming in over here. When it comes to these, you know, this is really close into the relationship realm here. So I would be really, really weary of anyone new, especially at work, coming in and trusting that person. And you have the Six of Swords and that is saying that you're going to be moving on. You're going to be leaving those people behind and those things behind that don't serve you, that are not serving you. So I have a feeling that you're going to figure out who this devil person is and you're going to be, you know, telling them to take a hike. You know, you figured them out. You already know what they're all about. You don't want nothing to do with them. You're going to go your own way and do stuff that, that you need to do to take care of you and yours. So... I think by, you know, in the middle of these two weeks here, you're going to, you're going to really figure out who this person is and really figure it out. And then you have, you know, the nine of swords, you know, don't regret the past. Don't think about the past, leave the past there. And that's why it's there. It's in your past for a reason. It didn't serve you then. It's not going to serve you now. Whatever happened then, there's no sense in regretting it. And there's no sense of dredging up the past because the only thing the past is going to do in the future or in the present is going to muck things up a bit. 
So whatever it is that you keep going back to and you keep dreading and, and fearing, um, you need to learn to let it go because it's not going to serve you. It's just going to, you know, keep you up at night and you're not going to get the rest that you need to get, which is, you know, the nine of wands over here is trying to tell you to get your rest. And the, you know, the nine of swords is saying you got to let shit go in order to be able to get your rest because you're, you're just keeping yourself up and you're, you're bothering yourself. You're in your own head. Get out of there. Okay, now what is to come for your careers, for your career? Now you're getting some instruction from somebody or you're going to be teaching somebody one way or the other. Um, but either way you go here, this is really a great thing. You know, this could mean that you're really getting that promotion and you're learning new things or you're taking on a leadership position and you are teaching other people new things so either way you look at it, it it feels like you're going to be getting a promotion especially when you have the six of pentacles coming in right after that you know you're going to be getting to the point where you can give you know your extra resources away you can you know and the more you give the more you get in return and that's what the six of pentacles is is all about teaching you know how to allot your resources and to make sure that everybody has what they need that 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 way that you can um give people what they want on top of what they need and you have the ten of pentacles coming in right after that you know wishes and dreams are coming true for you uh when it comes to your career uh you are advancing fast it's not you know, it's not a, a slow thing. You know, it's kind of like you just started and now you're already being offered and promised uh, leadership positions. And, you know, the higher ups are really looking at you and watching your every move because they're really been impressed with you. Okay, now what is... What is to come in your personal growth? Now, you have the shaman here. You are going to learn real fast in the next couple of weeks just to how powerful you truly are. You are coming into your own. Obviously, you know, in the past, you know, especially this right here with your, with your personal growth, Things are going in the direction that you have wanted it to go for a very, very long time. And now, you know, in comes the shaman and he's, re you're really going to learn that this week. You are going to learn that no matter what you put your mind to, you can achieve it. And you're really going to start impressing people, especially at work. And you have the Knight of Cups coming in that is going to help you. Um, sit and think and fantasize and plan and um, really figure out what direction you want to go, where you want to end up um, in this position, in this company. Um, I This really has a feeling of work here, especially with all the money coming in to you and things are going great at home. So really stop and think about where you want to go in this company and um where your end point where you want your end point to be and you have the mother of pentacles coming in here now she's coming in here to help you um organize everything and make sure everything is just going the way that you expect it to go and the way others expect you expect it to go and you have the ace of bows coming in and this is the spark of life you know, the spark of passion. There's new passions coming in here for you for the overall advice for this next couple of weeks for you. Follow your passions. Don't let anything get in your way and everything will go really well for you, especially when you have the star coming in right after that, giving you that guiding light, that divine guidance and showing you the way in that everything that you do in the next couple of weeks is going to be touched by the divine and really blessed um, when it comes to your passions and what you want to do in the world. 
And you have the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles is here to remind you that no matter what happens, even if you have the little bumps in the road, don't lose sight of what you have. Because even though you may have very little, you can do a lot with very little, and you can really impress people and really get into the position that you have been dreaming and hoping for. Now, I hope that you guys have enjoyed that reading. Before you go, don't forget to watch more Earth Sign videos, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.